Okay, here with Laura Muir. Laura, you might be one of the most dogged competitors I've ever seen. Your pursuit of the finish line is unmatched. How did you find it out there tactically coming into this? Is this what you wanted to get out of it? Yeah, ultimately, you know, you just want to win races. And the 1500, they can go so many different ways. You know, they can go fast, slow, slow then fast, fast and slow. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to come out here and win. Um, and that's what I did today. And I felt really strong that last couple of meters was really good. What did you take out of your pre-performance? You obviously came charging really late. You just couldn't quite get there to the front, though. But yeah. were there some things that you tweaked? Were there some things that you thought back on? And if so, what were they? Yeah, it just gave me a lot of confidence. You know, that was my first 1500 since pre at the end of September, like Diamond League Finals. So I hadn't run a 1500 since September. So it was just a little bit of a shock to the system. <laughs> but I found out, yeah, I was gaining a lot of ground that last lap. So I said, like, okay, we can go a little bit earlier. We can hang on. And yeah, so I thought, okay, there's a second or so there already. And that's my first race of the season. So it gave me a lot of confidence coming to this race just to go with it. And I did. And the pace just slowed down a little bit in that third lap. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to be competitive and to win. And I did it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You're an interesting hybrid of a really good endurance finisher and a really good sprinter. Your training yeah. weeks. Yeah. Are they more heavily sort of geared towards aerobic capacity or some speed work? A bit both, yeah. It's, it's changed a lot, actually. We're focusing a lot more on that aerobic base just because the 1500 now, you have to be so strong. Mm. The rounds are fast, the final's fast. It's no longer a sort of 800 meter race. So I've put an awful lot of work into that side of things. And we've touched on the speed, but not done a huge amount. So it just shows how strong I am to finish like that. And we've not done a huge amount of that speed stuff yet. Yeah, you've been yeah. around for a while and you've been dominating for so long. How have you seen the 1500 change over the years? Like, have you seen it change in terms of obviously younger athletes coming through, but the way that they run and the speeds that they yeah, run at, how different is it? Depth and speeds. Yeah, it's yeah. got very fast across a lot of people. It used to be everybody wasn't too dissimilar. And then people, a group of people got very fast and now everybody's very yeah. fast so yeah it makes my heart an awful lot harder a job a little bit harder but same time it, it drives me on to be better as well so it's good so will you be in rome in two weeks i assume yeah uh, i won't be unfortunately no oh, okay. i'm gonna put everything for the olympics yeah. um i just don't want to take away from that so i'm just gonna go into a big big training block so yeah. where do we see you next then uh, i've got an 800 in a couple weeks time and then we've got british trials in month. beautiful yeah. congratulations laura Thanks great racing much. thank you